Yeah, like he's Big Meech. Go- Big Meech. He's a he's a rat. We got his content. Oh man, it's a crazy world we living in, man. When becoming a rat is now officially content, man. Whack one hundred on Clubhouse speaking on Big Meech. He says he spoke with Cuffy's family. That's the guy that Big Meech allegedly set up. And Wack is claiming that he spoke to this guy's family and they got all the paperwork. They saying Big Meech used this lady to set up one of his homies, some type of drug deal to get a time reduction. Oh man, nasty work. Now, I honestly don't see why Big Meech will have to set somebody up almost halfway into his sentence to come home. It's like, bro, like just do your time. You already... Halfway there. But hey, man, they saying the lady allegedly got up on the stand and said she was doing this so that Big Meech could get a time reduction. Blue Da Vinci, WAC 100. That's what these guys is pumping, man. But I got the content. I got the audio on your boy, WAC 100, speaking on the situation. We're going to get straight into that. Y'all know the vibes, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. It's always watching TV. Let's get into the content. And, And I hate to say it, but... Y'all rules, y'all's living by a different set of rules. And I got told all the older niggas, like, bro, just you got to keep them niggas out your circle because how they see it ain't what we came up under. And it's just like music. You know, when we start listening to music and sagging our pants, my parents and uncles didn't understand what we was doing. Niggas start doing drive-bys. My uncle's like, yo, he the one taught me, hey, yo, stop doing that. Go get your man. You, you nigga, you just, that's cowards. Yeah, like he's Big come Meech, on, he's Big Meech, he's a, he's a rat. We got his content now. We got what that. you mean, Big Re- What you mean, Big Meech a rat? Man, it's a nigga in jail named Cuffy. I'm gonna send you to work, okay? Okay, the bitch that 50 had to do the deal with because she owned Big Meech, Big Meech signed over his life rights to her, right? Was third party cooperating. She took the stand and said, I was operating in behalf of Big Meech for a time deduction. Lied to Cuffy nigga up from St. Louis. He's doing 26 years. His whole family didn't call me. They sent in all the work. They already sent the work identifying her as a cooperant with the federal agents. Now, here it go. Big, after this happened, Big B signed over his life rights to the bitch. Not to his son, not to his baby mama, but to this the tab bitch. Real shit. Mm. You know, but you got to remember, a lot of these niggas that we hear was getting money really wasn't gangsters. They was hustlers. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't, they had gangsters around them, but they was hustlers, my niggas. You know, um, you know, this is why I don't do anything to generate revenue illegal. You can't even bring, tell you, if you said, whack, I got 100000 in a duffel bag, I'm going to tell you, go send me a wire, a cashier's check. I don't even, I don't do nothing with no nigga on the street outside of the law when it comes to generate money, bro. Oh, whack. Stop lying. You was just acting like you the man to come see out west when you need a blammy. Stop capping. This nigga be lying. How y'all feeling about Big Meech allegedly being a third-party rat, though? This is, yo, oh, my God. 2023 is the year of the truth tellers and the snitches. Find something legal to do. Now, allegedly, this happened years ago, man. They saying Big Meech was trying to come home in, like, 2018 or 2017. And this was his master plan to come home, man. He had Shorty go line up a drug deal with the Cuffy dude. Blue Da Vinci's claiming it didn't happen because Shorty started having infidelities with one of the agents on the case. So they had to throw out the case. But they had a wiretap. With the Cuffy dude speaking about Schman down where they got somebody up out of here that was about to testify. The Cuffy dude apparently put a hit on that person and got them out of here. And they had him on the wiretap talking about it or something like that. And they came back and grabbed him on that, man. And they saying it all stemmed from Big Meech sending this Tammy chick to line up the whole drug play. That's what got him hot in the first place. That's how the feds was able to put a wiretap on his phone, man. So, WAC 100 claims he has the paperwork. He claims he spoke with Cuffy's family. And he also claims Cuffy is supposed to be calling in from the feds to talk to him, man. So, I'll be keeping my ears to the street, see if there's any facts to that, or if WAC just talking, man. You know how he do it on Clubhouse. But y'all pull up in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, how y'all feel about this. Oh, man, one of the biggest drug dealers in America allegedly got smut on his name, man. Say it ain't so. Big Meech 
is a rat, a third party rat. What's going on here, man? Pull up in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this. As always watching TV. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you're notified whenever I drop. Follow me on all socials at always watching TV. You know the vibes. I'm out of here. Get.